Welcome back to the Fidelity CB1000FM. This is the transmit section. We're back to Service Bench 2, which has the overhead video camera. Um, under the previous video, I was showing you how to set the VCO after we've done some initial repairs to what has been a scrap uh, radio. Now, the next thing we're going to do is quite a different set to set up which is why a lot of these got abandoned as well as them not working that brilliantly anyway we're using a, a diode probe to a, a milliameter an RF probe this is a homemade one but you can soon find uh, plenty of circuit diagrams I think it was a practical wireless project in 1974 um, without having to go and buy a Hewlett Packard one or another leading brand what you have to do is locate capacitor 55 Capacitor 55 is just there. It's the, can you see it's that one? It's the green one. If we move the set a little bit, there's a orangey brown one. And capacitor 55 is there. And it's the left hand terminal, and that's where we're putting the diode probe. So you've then got four coils to adjust and I'll just uh, tell you the right numbers I think it's 207 is the first one yeah so L207 then L4 L5 and then L6 by that time you should be able to set the frequency with CT201 and CT201 is that trimmer capacity the right hand side of the synthesizer chip if you remember we set that for um, receive VCO that was the other trimmer so we're going to start by putting the, di the diode probe onto that capacitor which is there going into transmit and adjusting 207 and that's maximum on the meter See the uh, coil. That one there. Now that one's made quite a difference. If you don't peak these, you're never going to get full power out of these radios. And you can be hard pushed to get more than two and a half watts anyway. Not that that makes much difference, as I've said a million times. So we've now peaked those. So we'll now make sure the frequency is on using CT201. There's CT201. And we're on channel 20, so it should be 27. Seven nine one two five, which it now is. So next, having taken the RF voltmeter probe off capacitor fifty five, we're now left with. I think it's seven, eight, and nine to peak using the RF output meter on the test set which we use here. Uh, yes, it's six, eight, six, seven, and eight. So we've got L6, which is that one there, L7, which is that one there, and the one I've already put the hexagonal trimmer into is nine. And then you're supposed to set it for three and a half watts maximum using that one. So, let's see what we can actually get out of it. Right, well, straight away it is doing what? Hmm. 1.8 watts. I've not seen these go much beyond two and a half, to be honest. My 
goodness, we've got two. Okay, so after carefully doing that uh, lineup, it is doing a good two and a half watts, and that's on our uh, super tight meter. So we better set the RF meter on the front panel, which is the preset there. So I'll just tilt that up. It's the three hand shuffle. And what they want you to do is to set this into the centre of the red zone. It means absolutely nothing, but that's now the centre of the red zone. Even the manufacturer says the maximum these sets are is three and a half watts, so never expect you're going to get um, even four out of them. Right, we'll set the deviation next. So adjusting SVR3, which is the preset at the back, we'll bring that to an absolute maximum of 2.5 kilohertz, which it doesn't need adjusting. That's the only thing which hasn't needed adjusting so far. Um, put that back. Just a quick whistle check, test to make sure the mic gain is what I would expect. <sighs> yeah, that's the same, so that's great. And that's all I can think of. Um, high low power isn't adjustable on these radios. Uh, we can check that it's doing something like. Um, let's have a look. It's doing 300 milliwatts. So it's a little bit low, but then the um, the high power's a little bit low because they are. So there you are. That's the Fidelity Thousand now with the transmitter aligned. So later on in the week, I will do a video on setting up the receiver. I say that will involve using a sweep generator to do the 455 kilohertz IF, and that is the only way to do these, uh, and it makes that's what makes the big difference. Right, so I hope you've enjoyed uh, looking at the Fidelity 1000 Part Two.